Now, handmade cards are a great way to spread happiness and bring joy into the lives of others. So, it's only fitting that today I share a little fun fold card idea with you that is called a joy fold card. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, you will learn how to make a joy fold card. It is a simple fun fold card that I think you're going to love. Plus, I have a few design tips that will help you get the most out of this fun fold card idea. Now, the cards featured in this video showcase products from the Stampin' Up! Woven Thread Suite, but keep in mind that you can use any stamp set or any pattern papers you have on hand to create this fun fold card. Just get creative with it. By the end of this video, you will have some simple fun fold cards that you can create for just about any occasion. For the latest card making ideas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell so you will be notified each time I upload a new video. Okay, so first let's talk about the supplies you will need to create these cards. So first you're going to choose the pattern papers you would like to use to create your card. So for the cards I'm going to share with you today, I will be using some of the vintage style pattern papers from the Woven Threads Designer Series Paper Pack. Next, you want to choose a cardstock color that coordinates with your pattern papers. So for these cards, I will be using some Sahara Sand cardstock. Next, you want to select a stamp set. So today, I will be using some of the images from the Woven Heirlooms stamp set from Stampin' Up! Of course, you will also need some ink. So I am using, of course, Sahara Sand to coordinate with everything else that I'm using on this card. I will also be adding a bit of texture to the card with one of the Heirloom Frame Embossing Folders. And to embellish the card, I will be using some of the Woven Threads Sahara Sand Colored Trim. A few little butterflies created with the Butterfly Duet Punch, so I'm just going to use this little butterfly here. And I will also be using some pearls. Alright, I think that's it. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start by prepping the cardstock pieces which make up the base of the card and the interactive fun folds on the card. So you will need one eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock to create the card. So we're going to start by cutting the base of the card. So place the eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock in your paper trimmer on the 11 inch side. You're going to cut the cardstock by lining up the edge of the cardstock at four and a quarter inches. Once you make the cut, you will end up with a four and a quarter by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock. Now take this piece and place it back in your paper trimmer. Score it at five and a half inches on the eight and a half inch side. Now go ahead and fold on the score line and use a bone folder to burnish the fold. You will end up with a three by four and a quarter inch flap on the card base. Okay, so set this piece aside and let's create the interactive fun fold section. To create the inside fun fold section, cut a piece of cardstock that measures three by eight inches. Now you should have plenty of cardstock left from the original eight and a half by 11 inch sheet to cut this piece. Once you have cut the three by eight inch piece, you're going to score it on the eight inch side at four inches. Fold on the score line and use a bone folder again to burnish the fold. You will end up with a piece of cardstock that measures three by four inches when it's closed. Okay, so this is what the two pieces of cardstock will look like once they are cut and scored. Now let me show you how they work together to create the interactive fun fold card. So this first piece we created is the base of your card. And the second piece we created will be adhered to the inside section of the base of the card and the top flap of the second piece will overlap and rest on that flap that we created on the base of the card. However, before we can adhere these pieces together, we need to decorate them. So let's start by decorating the base of the Joy Fold card, which is the larger of the two pieces that we created. So for this Joy Fold card, we will be decorating it with some pattern papers from the Woven Threads product suite. So first you're going to cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of pattern paper. Adhere this piece of pattern paper on the inside of the base of the card. Next, cut a two and three quarter by four inch piece of pattern paper and adhere it to the front of the flap on the card base. 
Now I am using the same patterned papers to decorate these sections of the base of the card. However, you could certainly use different patterns or even embossed cardstock to decorate the different sections of the card base. Okay, now set this piece aside and let's decorate the interactive fun fold section of the card. Now, just a little tip for you before we get started. It's important to pay attention to the direction of the fold as you are decorating this piece. So when this piece is adhered to the card base, the folded section will be on the right-hand side of the card. The section that opens will be on the left-hand side. So that top flap on the card will actually open to the right and the flap underneath it, which is on your card base, will open to the left. So I recommend decorating this piece in the folded position so that you don't end up adhering your sentiments upside down. So we are going to start by cutting a two and three quarter by three and three quarter inch piece of pattern paper. Now choose a pattern paper that you are able to stamp on or you can simply use a piece of light colored cardstock. Emboss the pattern paper using the rectangular shaped heirloom frame embossing folder. Stamp a sentiment in the center of the embossed frame using Sahara sand ink. Stamp some decorative images on the pattern paper as well. Now sponge a bit of Sahara sand ink around the edges of the pattern paper and the raised embossed frame. Now sponging ink on the embossed design will help accent it and make it more defined. Cut a piece of the woven threads trim and adhere it to the left side of the embossed paper. Now adhere this pattern paper to the top section of the Sahara sand cardstock. This is the piece that will become the front of your fun fold card. Okay, for the finishing touch, we're simply going to embellish the front of the card with a little butterfly and some pearls. Now let's open up the fun fold section and lay it flat in front of you. Cut a two and three quarter by three and three quarter inch piece of pattern paper. You can sponge the edges of this piece and stamp a few decorative images on it as well using Sahara sand ink. Then go ahead and adhere it to the inside section of the cardstock. All right, we have just created the insert for this fun fold card. Now take this piece, fold it together, and flip it over. Add some strong adhesive like tear and tape to the back of this piece of cardstock. Now let's assemble our joy fold card. So open up the base of the card, take the folded piece of cardstock, the one with the adhesive on the back, and adhere it in the center of the inside of the card. Now just a little tip for you, make sure that fold for this piece is positioned on the right side of the card front before you adhere it. Now open up the small card that you just adhered, fold over the flap on the left side of the card base, then fold that top piece, that smaller section, back on top. There you go, we just created the joy fold card. Okay, so to open the card back up, simply lift on that center piece, that smaller piece, the one with your sentiment, and open it to the right. Then lift up on the inside piece, which is part of your card base, and open it to the left. Now you can stamp or write a personalized message on the inside of the card. Pretty cool, right? And it's simple too. It's my favorite kind of fun fold card to make. Now I have one more fun tip to share with you. You can change the look of this card simply by changing the way in which you decorate it. So this first card here we created features the joy fold opening to the right and then to the left. It's the horizontal version or the landscape version of the joy fold card. But you can also create this card vertically so that the front of the card lifts up and the inside of the card folds down to expose the place where you can write a personalized message. So you can see the only difference is how I decorated each of these cards. So I stamped the sentiment and adhered the pattern paper vertically on this one. And on this one, I stamped the sentiment and adhered it horizontally. But you can see that it opens and looks identical to the other one. So the measurements are exactly the same 
like I said, the only difference is how I decorated it. Now, something else you can do if you wanna keep your card closed, and I've shared this in other videos with you, is you can take your little embellishment, like I could have taken my little butterfly and put it right on the corner here um, to create a little closure piece for the front of my card. But these cards stay pretty flat, so I didn't feel the need to do that, but you could certainly embellish, put your little embellishment down here on the bottom to create a fun little closure. All right, just some simple modifications can change the whole look of your card. Now you have two simple joy fold card ideas that you can use with any stamp set or any pattern papers you have on hand. Just get creative with it. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have fun getting creative. Take care, and I'll see you soon.